Good afternoon, uh, Matthew. Welcome to our conference in Scotland. I would like to ask you how airlines are going about analytics or analysis of uh, XML shopping data, which is coming through the indirect channel. Okay. Um, we've seen over the, the last few years that airlines have been talking a lot about uh, NDC strategy, and these are now really starting to formulate. We've seen uh, acceleration of interest, uh, certainly in the last 12 to 24 months, airlines wanting to talk to us about taking their implementations to the next stage, not only having indirect XML uh, channels, the indirect channels using NDC, but also to re really understand how they can leverage that data, how they can really get the kind of analytics that they're already used to in their direct channels. Um, we're seeing a, a drive for people wanting to be able to report on that indirect data, but also now starting to look at automating processes using that data. So those could be uh, order management systems, revenue management systems, and so forth. Uh, Matthew, any feedback on the offer which is being made to the customer through the indirect channel based on the analytics uh, with which we have just spoken about? How the data which is being analyzed coming through the indirect channel is actually helping airlines to improve their merchandising uh, or offer management? Well, um, by using the analytics through that channel, they're able not only to see kind of historic information in terms of what happened yesterday or a month ago, but now they're able to see in real time. So within minutes, what is it that's actually happening through the indirect channel? So that's one very important improvement. The other thing is obviously by definition being the shopping channel, we're seeing what it is people are searching for, not historically just what it is it they actually selected. And this can help drive all kinds of processes and systems to create better offers and um, purchase opportunities for those customers. Matthew, is machine learning being applied to the, to the data which is coming in? Uh, basically, as more and more patterns are being rec recognized, mm -hmm. that means that uh, whatever KPIs you are targeting get better. So pattern identification means machine learning basically. Yeah. So have you got any feedback on, on this? Well, in terms of our capabilities at this level, what, we, what we're doing is we're doing more a, a case of segmentation. So we're looking at the different segments of data, um, breaking, out, breaking out all of that shopping traffic into addressable segments. Uh, I see the next stage for us is really trying to work with the airlines to apply AI techniques and technologies to that data. Um, I think that's going to be a very exciting opportunity for us over the course of the next year to 24 months. Any recommendation to airlines as far as making the most of shopping, XML shopping data is concerned? Um, I think they, they, need, they need to think what is it they have today in their direct channels and they need to replicate that in their indirect channels. I mean, that's a very simple roadmap. Uh, what is it that you're doing in terms to trying to increase that customer conversion in the in your web channels, you know, and that that's really the the uh, the blueprint for uh, what you should be analysing in your indirect, because the data is available now. And are you seeing more and more uh, interest in NDC as of now, or it's uh, still going at the same pace? Well, I mean the the ramp up, let's say, of NDC, if that's a, a, the correct term, you know, continues to be uh, not as fast as we would have hoped. But that said, there are many initiatives, or many of the major carriers now have initiatives. I think it's a case of when that hockey stick is going to kick up, and that could be very soon. So we are seeing uh, stronger and stronger interest. Thanks, Matthew, for your time.